Hello everyone. Welcome to my weekly Facebook Live. I'm Ruth Norton with Ruth's Stamping Corner. Today I have this adorable little Hershey Nugget Caddy. Look how cute it is. It holds four Hershey Nuggets. We're going to feature that delightfully eclectic DSP um, because it's been added as a celebration option. And I have a new stamp set here to share with you guys. And man, this little... Um, Hershey Nugget Caddy is so cute. You could even, if you wanted to, you could add a little um, circle in the middle, a circle punch or circle die, and add some ribbon, make it a little handle, but it is super cute. It's the perfect little gift, and Hershey Nuggets are super affordable. So we're going to make this today. Before we get to it, though, really quickly, I'm going to go through all the Stampin' Up! news that's going on right now. The March Paper Pumpkin subscription period has started. Um, my February Paper Pumpkin has been shipped, so I'm hoping that arrives very soon. So that one is spring themed. The March one is called Memorable Meadows and this one actually coordinates with the Meandering Meadows DSP and I have that right here. I've used a few pieces of it. It is stunning gorgeous DSP. So the March Paper Pumpkin is going to coordinate with this DSP. Isn't this DSP stunning? Now this is part of our online exclusives. You can get this in my online store right now. Um, this DSP is just, it's super stunning. Look at that piece. Wow. I would frame that. It is so, so beautiful. Um, so lots of gorgeous, um, beautiful watercolor patterns on the front sides and then the back sides are all, um, more neutral, um, basic kind of washes and colors and stuff like that. So, um, beautiful, beautiful DSP. So the paper pumpkin in March is going to coordinate with this DSP. So if you love this, you're going to want to definitely subscribe to paper pumpkin for March. You can do that. There's a link in my um, video description. Um, the die set, I believe this die set is still available. Um, it is an add on die that coordinates with January, February and March's kit. Um, I didn't check this morning, um, but I haven't heard that it's sold out. Also in March's kit, there's going to be an additional free stamp set. So you're going to get two stamp sets in the March kit. So you get that additional free one as a as a, just a free gift. So March's kit is going to be big. You're going to want to subscribe to March's kit. Um, again, there's a link in the video description. All right. Celebration. You guys, tomorrow there will be exactly two weeks left of celebration. So if you have not gotten all of your free items from here, if you um, have been waiting to get something, if you've been waiting to place a big order, um, the wait is over, guys. You guys got to do this now. Um, once celebration ends, these products will be gone. You won't be able to get them anymore. So make sure that you are shopping celebration um, in the next two weeks before it ends. And in addition to the celebration brochure, there is also some other brand new, well, not brand new, but these are in our mini and our annual catalog, um, products and some kits that you can earn free with your celebration orders too. So if you have everything in here or if things in here didn't excite you that much, don't worry. There is even more to choose from some stamp sets, markers, DSP, lots of really fun things. We are going to work with the Delightfully Eclectic DSP today. And that's one of the things you can get for free. And this is such a steal. Um, and I'm going to tell you all about that DSP in just a few minutes. But um, two weeks left, you guys. If you have not shopped, make sure you do. You can head to my online store. This is my February host code. Um, all orders receive a PDF with three exclusive projects. When your order is over $50 more, you're also going to receive the Make and Take Kit that coordinates with those. And I am... A little behind in getting out Fe February's, so if you've placed an order in February, they are going out very soon, so watch for those arriving in your mailbox if you've already placed an order. If you haven't placed an order, remember, there's still time. You have about two weeks left of celebration. Make sure you take advantage of that. Um, so two weeks left of celebration also means two weeks left to join my team, earn the glass map for free. I have loved this thing. It has it makes your stamping crisp, clear. There's so many techniques you can do with it. So don't miss out on earning this glass mat free. It is a $60 value. When you join Stampin' Up, you not only get a discount on your products, you get to see products early, you get to order products early. Um, and it's $99. You choose $125 in product. You're going to get the Glass Mat Studio for free, a $60 value. Um, and you only pay $99. And the $125 that you choose could be products, any products that you want. Now, if you don't want the Glass Mat Studio, that's okay. You maybe you already have a Glass Mat or you just, it's not for you. Um, there is option number two where you get to choose an additional $30 in 
products. So your starter kit, you would choose 155 in products and you would only pay 99. You still get all of those same demonstrator perks. Um, there's a link to join in the video description. So head there if you want to join. If you want more questions, please feel free to reach out. Again, that, that promotion ends on February 29th with celebration. So only a couple weeks left to take advantage of that. Okay, guys, in March, I believe March 5th, we will have some brand new online exclusives hitting my online store. I shared a few of the ones that I purchased in um, my Facebook Live on Sunday, my Celebration Sunday Facebook Lives, just last Sunday. So if you missed that, go ahead and check that out. Um, but there are some amazing products. This DSP, the Flowering Zinnias DSP is pretty spectacular those colors are just so stunning um and there's even more products in this so many new products coming in march march 5th but if you decide to join stampin up in the next couple of weeks you can actually put these products in your starter kit as well so you can get it take advantage of getting those new products early just by joining okay guys if you're watching this on facebook please like and please share it with your friends. You can like it too. That helps too. <laughs> but please share it with your friends. That's how I meet new crafters. Um, if you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is free and you never miss a video. This is what we're making today. This beautiful, adorably cute little Hershey nugget caddy. Um, and so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the delightfully eclectic DSP. So this DSP, it is a stack of 48 pieces of paper. Um, so so beautiful now there's going to be something for every single occasion in here so i'm going to just quickly go through them um so you can see we're going to actually use this crushed curry polka dot pattern today but you can see that there is something for every single occasion this pattern i think this little um, bubble bath floral pattern i think might be one of my favorite patterns it is i use it a lot and you can see you get i think four sheets of each because i hope keep that pretzel pattern is you get four sheets of each um, and there's just tons of, of, um, paper in here. These little, they look like Scrabble tiles. They are so cute. Um, I love these little hearts. So, so many, so many, um, amazing patterns in here. This is like a, like a register book. So cute. Um, but again, patterns for absolutely everything. We're using this pattern to, again, or not again, but we're using also, don't you love that one that those daisies so adorable and then there's little lemons on the back so cute i mean i'm telling you guys this paper will coordinate with everything now the reason that this is such a steal during celebration is because if you were to purchase this in the catalog this stack of paper is going to cost you 30 dollars um but during celebration look at this knight of navy plaid oh this one's beautiful too during celebration you you can get this one free with a 50 dollar order so you can get um $30 value product free with a $50 order and that is huge you guys so um, our last pattern down here those flowers so pretty right so this huge mega stack of paper free with a $50 order it is a $30 value so um, you would get $80 in product for your $50 order so really really great deal don't miss out on that one all right so this is what we're gonna make today isn't it cute um so Hershey nuggets these are these are found in, I mean, any grocery store, Walmart, Target. You can find these pretty much anywhere. I'm going to pull out four of them for our project. Um, they are fantastic for um, shower gifts or wedding favors. And they are sized perfectly that the um, one by three labels will actually wrap around. And we're actually going to cover ours with DSP. Um, but the... But if you're doing like baby showers or wedding showers or wedding favors, you can actually customize labels and then just wrap the labels around. So that is that is like a real good pro tip for um, making little favors. And this would be adorable too. You could um, just change the greeting, maybe change some of the colors to match whatever event you're doing. And this would be a fantastic little gift. Okay, let me get on my Simply Scored. We're going to start with the actual box. And... I'll put this down. All right, I am going to pull out my cardstock. Now, this piece of cardstock is Crush Curry, and this is eight and a quarter by four and one eighth. We're actually going to start on the short side, four and one eighth side, and I'm going to score it at, I'm trying to find my notes, at one inch on each side. One inch, rotate it all the way around, and do one inch again. All right, now we're going to put it on the eight and a quarter inch side. 
And we're gonna do some full lines, so top to bottom, from at one, one and five eighths, four and one eighth, six and five eighths, and seven and a quarter. Now all of those measurements are going to be in the video description. You do not have to write those down. They are also going to be on my blog. So don't worry about trying to scribble and write them down. Now we're going to do a couple more um, marks on here. And this is just going to be um, guides for where we need to trim later. So while it's still in the eight and a quarter inch side, we're going to score it at two and five eighths. And we're going to stop at that horizontal score line. And we're going to do the same at five and five eighths and stop at that horizontal score line. And then we're just going to pick it up flip it over and do the same thing two and five eighths stopping at that score line and five and five eighths stopping at that score line okay so that is it and those are just going to be some marks for us we're not going to be folding on those um it's just going to be some marks for us to to cut later all right now go ahead and grab your bone folder and on all the score lines that go completely across from top to bottom on either side, go ahead and give those a burnish. I'm going to fold all of these. And then there is a center score line um, on this side. So I folded these all up. So the box is going to fold up kind of that way. So our center score line needs to be folded in the opposite direction. So our box is going to kind of come together like this. So this is how you want those um, score lines on that longer side scored. You want it to just kind of make like a big W, okay? And these are all scored too. All right, so let's do some trimming. The first thing we're going to do is those little guide marks that we made. We're going to trim out this center piece inside. So I'm going to cut along that little guide mark that we made on each side, just right up to that score line. And I'm gonna fold, fold this piece aside just so I can get my scissors in there. And then we're just going to trim this out. Now you could use um, longer scissors. You could even pull out your paper trimmer for this if you want a nice straight cut. We're just going to cut out those two pieces and we're going to do the exact same on the other side. So give that a cut and cut this one. And I'm going to fold this out of the way just so I can get my scissors in there. And we're just going to cut this piece completely off. So this is what it looks like so far. Okay. All right, now we have these little pieces here that we need to cut. So we're just going to cut um, straight up those, those, um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> this rec these score lines right here. And I'm going to just trim these a little bit more. I did that a little bit crooked, so I'm going to just kind of trim these just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, now our box is going to fold together like this but as you can see these pieces these little side pieces are too long so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of eyeball them and just cut them in half skip that middle piece just cut these pieces in half and then I'm just going to go through and angle these so this usually we leave um, we angle the tab in the center but for this one we're leaving that tab in the center by itself and then we're going to trim up the the outside tabs and we're going to do that three more times. So we're going to cut up that score line there. I'm going to fold this piece out of the way. And I'm just going to cut these kind of in half, just like this. And trim those pieces. Now these are all going to be hidden, so they don't have to be perfect. You can put them in your paper trimmer if you want to make them perfect, but they're all going to be hidden, so don't worry about making them perfect. All right, we did one side. We're going to flip over the cardstock and do the other side exactly the same way. Okay, guys, so it's Valentine's Day. I hope you guys are going to be celebrating with those that you love. Um, you know, my my husband is working and this happens to be his in office week. So we are, we're not doing anything. <laughs> Plus it's a Wednesday. Um, the kids are at school. So we're not doing, we're not doing anything, but we did get the kids some little treats, of course. And, um, my daughter has a friend coming over later. She has a little present for her. So, so I guess we're having a, some little, little things going on, but we're not doing anything big. Okay, and just trim up those. All right, so this 
Move all those scraps out of the way. This is what your piece should look like with everything all trimmed up. And we trimmed up all four of those corners exactly the same way. Okay, let me move all this trash out of the way. All right. Now, I have a diagram on my on my blog that will actually picture this. So if you need to see this in person, you can pull up that picture on my blog. And it also lays out where to put the glue on here. So I am going to... I'm trying, I'm trying to look back because I need to look at my diagram. I have it up on my computer. Um, okay, so on these middle tabs here, I'm going to put some glue. I'm using Stampin' Seal or Stampin' Seal Plus. On my picture on my blog, um, I'll, I use um, tear and tape so you can see it nice and clear. But on all four of these little tabs, we are going to put some some glue. And then on the very outside ones, we're going to put that on the inside or the outside tabs. So I'm folding these over. Whoops, I don't want to glue that down. I'm folding these over and um, adding glue onto these outside pieces. So Stampin' Seal Plus, you can use liquid glue. Um, there will be some drying time for liquid glue, but you can absolutely use liquid glue. Um, but however you want to do it. So we put adhesive on the outside of these and the inside of the middle pieces. These don't have any adhesive. You don't have to worry about those. All right, now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna fold this up just so I don't glue anything to my desk. And on one side of this middle piece, you're going to put stuff adhesive on the back. I don't know if the adhesive is gonna show up. As you can see, it's so I didn't put any on the tabs. It's just on one side of this middle piece from score line to score line. I think, there it is. I think you can see it there. Okay, so that's where all of our adhesive is. So let's go ahead and start gluing this together. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this one that has no adhesive. We're gonna line up this score line with this cut edge because there's adhesive on that, on that middle piece. So just like that. And then I'm gonna take this um, score line right here and go to that cut edge, just like that. Okay, and we're gonna do that all the way around. So we're going to take that, the inside one, that's going to glue to the middle piece. And then that outside one is just going to go right inside. So this middle piece is going to be on the outside. So I hope that makes sense. We'll do this one more time. This is going to go there. This piece with the adhesive is just going to tuck inside the box and just line up just like that. Oops. Make sure you press it down. There. All right, and last one, just like this, and like this. Okay, now we still have this adhesive on this, and what we're going to do, this is just going to fold over just like that. Okay, and that is going to create our adorable little caddy. Isn't that cute? It's going to hold those Hershey nuggets perfectly, and it's all set to go. Isn't that adorable? Now, if you were going to put a hole in it, um, if you wanted to add some ribbon or a little handle, you would make sure to do that while it was still flat. Um, unless you have a punch that's going to go through two layers, you can slide that punch in here. But if you're going to use a die, you're going to need to um, do that before the, um, you assemble it. All right, I have two pieces of DSP. These are going to go right nestled inside just like this. And these two pieces are two by two and three eighths. And I'm going to just put adhesive on the back of each of these. And again, oh, darn it. <laughs> I did that on the wrong side. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I have another piece of that pattern. What does it look like? The lemon pattern. I really don't want to cut a new piece of DSP for this. And I think that I used up every scrap I had. Okay. Um. Yeah. We're not, I'm not going to cut any piece. So this one's just going to have lemons on the other side. It's okay. We'll make that the back. <laughs> it's all right. I'll give this to one of my kids. They won't care. Make sure you put the adhesive on the right side. So there you go. <laughs> so these are just going to nestle down just like this. Um, the little daisy pattern is much, much more cute. But those little lemons, I mean, with the proper stamp set, the proper bundle, it goes together so perfectly. All right. So this is now our front. It doesn't matter at this point which is your front because it's it's the same either way. 
I do have a belly band with that same DSP, this is the Delightfully Eclectic DSP, and this is 7 and 3 fourths by 7 eighths, and I did put some tear and tape on the back of this, so we'll just pull this off, and we're going to start at the front, and I'm just going to wrap this around. I'm not too worried about, um, like, pre-scoring it or anything, it's just going to wrap around perfectly, so with that adhesive exposed, I'm just going around and just wrapping it, just trying to keep it straight. All right, and meet back in the middle, perfect. You can go through and just kind of use your fingertips and just sharpen up those corners, just like that. Okay, so there we go. Now this little seam is gonna get covered up, so don't worry at all about that, but that way we have clean seams all the way around our little box. Super cute, okay, it's coming together. Let's bring back what our, what our little box should look like. Okay, let's talk about our greeting. I've actually heat embossed the greeting, and I've heat embossed it in white embossing powder on petal pink, just a strip of petal pink, a scrap of petal pink, um, and I did that on white. And the greeting is from the Filled with Happiness stamp set. This is in our mini catalog. This actually, these punches, cor or these stamp sets coordinate with our modern oval punch. So this is a great one to have if you have that modern oval punch. Um, I just love these images, this is my favorite. But um, I use this thanks greeting. You could use whatever you want. All right, so we're going to stick some dimensionals on the back of that, just a couple dimensionals, and we're going to peel off the backings, and we are going to adhere this in just a second. I have die cut from white, from basic white. I've die cut a couple of flowers from our um, paper florist dies. I use these dies on Sunday for that beautiful card purse. This time we're using these little daisy ones, um, but I just die cut a couple of those, and we're going to adhere these together. So I have the, the bigger one, and I'm just going to add just a little dot of glue. You could use glue dots too. This glue is almost gone. And I'm just going to adhere them together. They're, they don't kind of line up perfectly, so just whatever you think is pleasing to the eye. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little dot of glue kind of off to the right of my box, and then we'll just stick that down. And this is going to pop up just like that. So stick that down. Isn't that cute? So cute. It coordinates with those little daisies in the back. All right, this is nice and sticky. So we're just going to lay this down on top. That seam is now completely covered up. Nobody's ever going to know that that's where the DSP started and ended. And then for the center, I have um, a little double bow twine that I have tied. There's already a glue dot on the back, and that's just going to go right in the center of our flower. Um, and I tied that from our three pack baker's twine that's in our hot air balloon suite in the mini catalog. Isn't that cute? Coordinates so perfectly. All right, let's talk about our little candies here. So we have our little Hershey nuggets here. So let's talk about our candies. I have four of them for this project and I have four pieces of that same DSP. These are cut one by three. Now remember, if you're making a bunch of these, um, I recommend customizing these with um, address labels. They, they're already sticky. All you have to do is peel and stick and you can really customize them. You can do these for like parties, um, customize them with names or themes or whatever you want. Now I'm using my bone folder and I'm just curling each one and that's actually going to help it stick, um, wrap around the the candy without popping off because we've um, rolled the DSP. We're telling it this is the way you want it to go and the DSP is naturally going to want to go in that direction. So I'm putting a line of adhesive um, vertically and then I have one piece going across that way. And I'm going to do that on all four of these little nugget pieces. You can, if you do want to wrap them with DSP like me, um, that DSP is one by three and you can get a ton of these little wraps out of a 12 by 12 piece of DSP. So you can make a lot of these. All right, so I'm just going to grab my little nugget and I'm going to just adhere it evenly on the top, kind of right in the middle. And then I'm going to wrap the side around that does not have that that line of DSP going this way. And I'm just going to wrap this going this way. And then just along those corner of those chocolates, I just like to give it a little a little burnish and that helps hold the DSP in place too. Then you have a little customized little chocolate wrapper. Isn't that adorable? I know on um, like Etsy, and I think even, well, I'm not sure about Oriental Trading, but um, Etsy, I think you can even buy personalized wrappers if you want them to be made for you. 
So um, you can personalize them to whatever you want. You just search like Hershey Nugget label or something and um, I've seen them there. I haven't searched for them specifically in a while, but I have seen them on Etsy. So I, I'm pretty sure they have them. And it might even just be a download that you you purchase the download and then you print it. But I've made these for, use these for parties. And the her, the address label thing is such a good tip because people always love things when they're super customized. All right, so these just stand up. You can fit four of them in there. Doot, doot. What a fun little treat that is. Isn't that cute? All right, now just to finish it off, we're going to add a few little rhinestones. So these are just our basic rhinestones. So I'm going to just add just a couple to the top up here and one kind of mixed in here with the, the greeting. And that is it. That is our sweet little Hershey Nugget Caddy. Isn't that adorable? Super cute. You can just set these out on the tables. It's such a good little gift for anybody. And anybody would love these. These would make great little Easter gifts too. You could put a little, little instead of the flower, do like a little Easter egg. That would be really cute too. Super cute, guys. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm so glad I could come live with you today. I will be live um this Sunday for Celebration Sunday. We are going to be doing the Heartfelt Hellos stamp set. So if you haven't gotten this one, make sure you grab that one from the Celebration brochure. If you are shopping, this is my host code for February. You can head to my online store and start shopping. Celebration ends in about two weeks. So you um, time is ticking if you have not earned all those celebration items. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I will be responding to those later. Um, again, thank you guys and I will see you guys on Sunday and happy Valentine's Day.